it is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below um let's see this person definitely um they see you as someone who's doing well i feel they see you as someone who's doing very very well in life they see you as someone who's very passionate following your hobby probably there's a new business that you started okay but yeah uh i think on their mind you are on their mind here okay and uh they definitely see you as someone who wants to pursue what you want uh you're a go-getter you take action yeah they see you as having a lot of suitors and they definitely desire you okay you're the desired one but Capcom, right now I feel on this person's mind, um, this person could be who very focused on their money right now, okay, very focused on their money, they are not talking to you, definitely, okay, on their mind, I feel this person has trust issues, okay, or uh, their ego is coming in the way, to wanting to communicate with you, okay, so I think they're putting all their focus on money, on their business, whatever it is, with a hierophant here, I feel this person has commitment issues with you, Okay, the cards are flying, right? Because of oh, just one second. <laughs> it looks so weird. Just one second. Yeah. So I also feel that this person right now, I think they're getting a lot of spiritual guidance right now. All right. This person could be a teacher. This person could be someone, you know, who has a lot of faith. I'm getting here. Okay. They have a lot of faith that uh, yours and their connection is a very spiritual connection here. But I feel they're very in control of their emotions. Okay, I feel they're very much in control of their emotions. Let's see. What's the five of swords? What's the five of swords? This person here is trying to fight some kind of tradition here or trying to fight people, you know. Um, you need to stand up against another a society or a community in order to come towards you. Let's see. What's the five of swords here? What's the five of swords here? But they do have a lot of faith, okay? And they're hoping, wishing, praying that things will be okay between you and them because they know, a, they feel a very strong connection here with you, okay? This is a very difficult connection to shake off. What's the five of swords here on this person's mind when it comes to Capricorn? What? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, see, this person right now, they feel the need to be defensive right now, okay? Because I feel there's a lot of conflicts here. I think this person has too much going on in their life see like i said right this person is trying to literally fight off people fight competition i'm feeling right now they're very very focused on their career okay now either this is competition within their business whatever competitors or this is someone here who is going through a lot right now okay a lot of responsibilities okay could be some of them which they just have to carry and they're keeping well quiet about it okay i feel right now if there is no communication between you guys if there's a conflict between you guys i feel right now this person feels the the they don't want to invest their energies into this conflict right now because their focus is something else. Again, I'm feeling this person holds that faith, okay, that things are going to be okay with you and then one day. I feel her, this person probably um, sees you also as someone here who's kept off communication with them, okay, and they feel the need to protect themselves here. But I feel they're walking away from this conflict as of now, you know, um, because they just have too much on their plate is what I'm getting here. Okay. This person has too much on their plate right now. This person is trying to go through a huge burden right now and which you don't know about. So there could be chances where this person is just keeping quite, very quiet. Too many people involved here. Okay. And um, a lot of competition. But I just feel that this person has a lot of shit coming at them from every corner. Okay. There's a lot they need to deal deal with before they come towards you. Uh, what... What's the hierophant? What's the hierophant? What's the hierophant? What's the hierophant? Yeah. They feel left out by you for sure. Okay. They feel left out by you for sure. But right now they're in no mood to talk to you. Because they want this break. See, I'm saying, right? They're trying to be emotionally very, very detached. Very balanced right now. Okay? And uh, they feel left out by you. They have a lot of love for you. Okay? I'm going to say. They have a lot of love for you. But they're just not sure about whether to pursue this connection right now or no. Why? Because I feel there's a lot going on in their life. Okay? Apart from you. And they also see you as someone who's just uh, cut communication. Or you've just cut them off. Or you're just thinking very negatively about them. Okay? There could be another woman involved that they're literally fed up with, okay? 
there could be a woman here who they're fed up with or there's a woman here who they constantly are in conflict with when it comes to you could be an ex could be their ex-wife or uh could be a mother also okay who they're constantly trying to be who they're in conflict with okay and they're just trying to find a solution but they're just not being able to do that what's the king of pentacles what's the king of pentacles Yeah. Yeah, they're watching you. This person definitely has commitment on their mind, but they're waiting for the right time to come towards you, okay? They're waiting for the right time. This person here wants to take a leap of faith towards you, but they're waiting for the right time. I think before they come towards you, they want to get their shit together. That's also what I'm getting, okay? But definitely, I feel commitment is on their mind, okay? And um, they just they just feel that you're out here with the energy of you you know you're you're wanting up okay like you want to one up like you just want to fight them and they feel the need to protect themselves because probably they know that they sabotage this connection okay and they know that now if they want to come towards you they better have a, a good excuse and they better have something more concrete to offer you okay but they're still operating from their ego okay they're afraid to approach you that's for sure okay it is a big burden from them it is a lot of stress here okay they're emotionally very overwhelmed staying away from you but they just can't help it they gotta do it it's their ego what does this person feel what does this person feel for capricorn in the next 24 hours what will this person feel for capricorn in the next 24 hours please what will this person feel for capricorn in the next 24 hours okay okay this person sees you as doing very, very well in life, first of all, okay? I think this person feels you are uh, realizing your worth, your value. You're making a lot of money. You're very focused on yourself. You're the center of attraction, okay? And I think they see you as doing very well in life. You could be financially very independent or getting to that place of being financially very independent. They see you as someone who just doesn't give a shit. You're looking forward. You're not even looking at them. That's how they feel. They, they, they see you as marriage material for sure. For sure. They see you as someone who's getting to that point of abundancy where, you know, you've reached that point of where you're okay on your own, you know your worth and you know what you deserve and you're not settling for anything less. Clearly, they see you as someone who's not communicating with them, okay? But being very detached is what I'm getting, you know, being very detached out here. And that's why probably this person is waiting and watching of coming towards you. They know they can't, can't come back towards, they can't come back towards you with like a, you know, like a, a lame ass offer, right? I think that's what they're doing. They're keeping their guards up, but I think this person's just trying to do their best right now and focusing on themselves because they know you're not going to um, settle for anything less than what you want. They see you as financially very, very focused. I feel this person feels that you are single, independent, and you're doing you, and uh, you're not really bothered with trying to work out this relationship with them anymore. They see you're doing well. I mean, so I feel this person is definitely watching you. We have the page of swords here. So they're definitely keeping an eye on you. Okay. And to see you as doing very well is what I'm getting A. But they also see you as someone who's very determined to move forward. You know, you're very clear in your head about what you want and you're being detached. This person could also be someone here who sees you as wearing a false mask. Okay. So they know that you have a lot of love for them. Okay. But the thing is that you're just wearing a false mask and you're just wanting to, you know, uh, close down, shut down any kind of emotions that were with this person and just wanting to move forward, okay? That's what I'm getting again and again. See how practical they see you. You're being very practical, very grounded. That's how they see you. What action will this person take towards Capricorn in the next 24 hours? What action will this person take towards Capricorn in the next 24 hours? What action will this person take towards Capricorn in the next 24 hours? Wow. Wow. Okay. This person wants a reconciliation. Capricorn. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles. This person is coming towards you with communication. It may be a very short term potential here. But I don't see you as accepting it. Why that? Okay, Capricorn. Okay, I'm not going to open my mouth till I don't confirm. Okay, but yes, this person definitely, action-wise, 
Six of Cups is not an action card, but this person is missing you a lot. Okay, a lot means a lot. This is your soulmate, by the way. Okay, so when you miss them, they miss you. Okay, so it's because you both are on each other's mind all the time. This person definitely wants a reconciliation. I think they're going to get very deep in their emotions and they're going to finally think of reaching out in the next 24 hours. But Eight of Cups, you're why? This is what confuses me. Let's see. What's the page of pentacles? Let's see the page of pentacles. The only thing I can see here is that you're not accepting this offer. You're walking away. Probably because uh, the the kind of offer that they come towards you with. Probably this is just an apology. It's very bland communication. Like, hey, how are you? You know, how are you doing? That's it. And you're going to be like, really? After whatever we went through, is this what you have to say? You know, very bland communication. But they're definitely wanting to reach out. What's the page of pentacles? So look out for that. Capricorn, if this happens, do come back to this video and do comment below. Okay. okay. What's the page of pentacles? What's the page of pentacles? What's the page of pentacles do? Yep. The love is there. The love is there, guys. They're putting their guards down. They're putting their guards down. They're coming towards you. Okay. They're, they're coming towards you for sure. They're releasing themselves from any kind of uh, negative uh, negativity okay anything that was stopping them right but this person is coming to coming towards you with something solid something committed guys eight of cups i will tell you what is going on just give me a second what's the eight of cups here what's the eight of cups who's walking away what's the eight of cups okay, okay. yeah see that's what I'm, that, that's exactly what I'm getting. You're blocking them. Okay. Now, first of all, I'm getting here that you block this person out. Okay. Energetically deleted, blocked. Okay. Whatever it is. I feel that this person is coming towards you. Okay. They're coming towards you with communication, but the communication is very, very bland. It's very short term. Okay. There's no short, there's no long term potential here. So the kind of way they come in towards you, it's more like they're scared to come towards you. Okay. Like they're coming in slowly and steadily, okay? They don't have nothing big to offer towards you. But this has the potential to grow very, very big. A. B, I see that because you don't really like what they're saying or you don't really like what they're offering, I'm, I'm saying that they'll probably just say a fucking hi, okay? That's what they're going to do. They're just going to say a fucking hi to you, like a full stop, or like a hi, full stop. And they're going to wait for you to react. And probably if you react back or if you say also something, right? I mean, they're probably just a little on and off communication, okay? And you're going to like, really... I waited all this while for you to communicate with me and this is all you got to say. And that is why I feel you're walking away. I think because you're in two minds if you want to take a risk with this person or not. This person comes towards you with a very casual energy. It's also what I'm getting here. Okay. But you, I think, are someone here who... When this person comes in towards you in the next 24 hours is what I'm getting here. 24, 48, 72, whatever, right? Timelines are different out here. But... um I think you're not going to be as interested as you were before. You've already lost the mojo and the passion in this person here. And all the more when this person comes back towards you with a stupid hi or with just like a hey, what's up? Or like, you know, hi, what's up? Long time. And you'll be like, bye. You know? So I think you're going to be very, very uh, demotivated by the kind of conversation that's going to come in within the next 24 hours, which is going to make you walk away. Again, this is just the next 24 hours, right? So don't worry. This is not going to be like a forever reading. This is not the outcome for you. It's just for the next 24 hours, okay? So whatever this is, but I feel this person will reach out to you in the next 24 hours because they miss you like crazy. They miss you like crazy. And they come like, you know what? I don't care. I'm just going to do it anyways, no matter what happens, okay? They are a little stuck in their head. They are thinking negatively, like what's going to happen, but they feel the connection and they can't help it, okay? So there are chances this person will reach out to you, okay? I feel they will reach out to you, but it's just that you are going to be in two minds of whether you want to take a risk with this person or not, okay? Because you have trust issues with this person is what I'm getting here. I just think that you're just going to be like, you know, I'm just going to do me. All right, because you're just not even good. I feel you both, you'll probably even ignore this person as much as like, oh, really, that I'm not even entertaining that bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're holding back as much as you want this with this person here, right? I feel you're going to block this person and you're just going to flat out ignore this person is what I'm getting. But yeah, they're coming out. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're going to reach out. So yeah, that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.